So, in our lovely, stunning and brave society, ladies and gentlemen, things can seem like they're out of control, right? You wake up and you think, wow, when is it going to end? When are we going to see people stand up against these certain agendas? Well, sometimes you get a story like today that shows people out there want normality back, common sense, and they are willing to stand up for those things. And this time, it is high school students in New York who will participate in a statewide walkout to protest against the idea of men competing in women's sports. This is absolutely amazing. It seems like more and more people from the younger generations, yeah, they're getting tired of what is going on. There is hope still, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before we get into it, as always, if you could, make sure to leave a like rating as it really, really helps out the video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Comment on this video, share this video, follow my socials down below in the description, and let's get into it. So the New York Post have reported, as you can see, NY high school students will participate in statewide walkout against trans athletes competing in girl sports. Again, absolutely amazing to see this issue it needs to stop. High school students across New York plan to participate in a walkout later this month to protest transgender athletes competing in girls sports. A statewide demonstration set for October 24th is being organized by the Coalition to Protect Kids, a group that has strong backing from the Catholic Church and the New York Republican and Conservative parties. It's not right for boys to compete against girls in sports. It's a huge disadvantage for girls, said Hannah Pompeo, a 16-year-old soccer player at Eden High School near Buffalo, who is participating in the walk-off for fairness. The fact that we have the younger generations here, high school students, planning to walk out because of this issue. I mean, what more can you say? This is what we need to see. Minnie McCormack, a student dancer at Summers High School in Westchester County, said she and her sister, Beatrix, would also be taking part in the protest. I don't think it's right for men to be in our safe spaces. We worked hard for places on our team, she said. Boys have physical advantages we don't have. Ah, oh, don't say that in front of the woke leftist liberals. They go a little bit crazy if you state the facts. <laughs> Yeah, if you say anything they disagree with, you say, I don't know, boys don't belong in girls' safe spaces, that is it. They cry. If you say boys have a physical advantage over girls, that is it. They cry. The biological facts scares a lot of these people. I always say their reactions is like when sunlight hits a vampire. They can't take it. The group supporting the walkout opposed the controversial Proposition 1 measure on the ballot in the November 5th election, but also called the Equal Rights Amendment would enshrine abortion rights in the state constitution. New York already has among the strongest abortion rights in the nation, and critics claim the ballot measure is unnecessary and just a ruse to try to boost democratic turnout in competitive congressional and state legislative races, as well as for the White House. The proposal also also asked voters whether they support or oppose adding language to the constitution, stating that people cannot be denied rights based on their race, color, ethnicity, national origin, age, disability, creed, religion. How many are we going to add to this? Including sexual orientation, gender identity or expression, pregnancy, pregnancy outcomes, reproductive, healthcare and autonomy. Opponents argue that adding such expansive language would open the door to allowing athletes who identify as female and are born male to compete against women and girls, which they claim would discriminate against athletes who are born female. Yeah, they always talk about discrimination when it comes to the LGBTQ plus community, but when it comes to the issue women and girls are facing within their sports, which is discriminating against them as i always say as well stevie wonder syndrome comes out wait what well, now we can't see that uh, girls are systematically cancelled in this state and walk off for fairness will give them a safe opportunity to make their voices heard to coalition to protect kids ny spokesman ayesha Kruitz. i hope i got that name right so many of these young girls are afraid to speak out so they're forced to watch as 50 years of female athletic progress gets washed away by destructive ideologues yes it's very progressive isn't it men and women's sports that is <laughs> our modern idea of being progressive. Girls are not second class citizens, so why are they being treated that way? Well, ask the woke liberal feminists, I'm sure they'll give you a good answer. In April, the state education department issued draft guidance that would allow trans boys to compete on girls sports teams. What? It would allow boys, regardless of their gender identity, to play on girls teams if the school fails to offer a boys team in a selected sport. What are we 
doing? The Republican and Conservative parties are urging voters, including parents and their student athletes, to reject what they consider progressive outreach. The proposal one ballot amendment would roll back the protections guaranteed to women and girls under Title IX of the Education Amendment signed into law by President Nixon over 50 years ago by giving biological males a constitutional right to compete on girls' teams and taking away the scholarships and playing time these young women have worked so hard for, said the state Republican Party chairman Ed Cox. And I'm just going to say this again because it's really all you have to say. The people who will probably be in favour of this are the woke liberal feminists and these are the people who cry about men taking opportunities away from them every single day. It's a job for them now. You know, you go onto social media, tweets are everywhere or posts are everywhere. But when it comes to this issue and we see girls, women losing opportunities, scholarships, medals, whatever, because a male who identifies as a woman is taking that from them, they don't say anything. Actually, they support it. They support that idea. So you can just see how hypocritical these people really are. 66% of New Yorkers, however, oppose this radical social engineering change to our state constitution, according to the latest New York Times slash Siena poll. The New York Republican Party urges young athletes to join the walk-off for fairness hashtag girl caught on Thursday, October 24th. Conservative Party Chairman Jerry Kassar says it's hard to believe we're even having the conversation that girl sports would be for anyone other than girls, but welcome to 2024. We fully support walk off a fairness day in new york reminding young people that there is safety in numbers girl sports must remain girl sports and there should be nothing controversial in that statement casa added anything that goes against the woke agendas is controversial. The main group backing Proposal 1 accused opponents of running a scare campaign. There's no bigger bully than the coalition to protect kids, lying to students and parents to scare them into turning on each other, says Sasha Ahuja. Did I get that right? Definitely didn't. Campaign director for New Yorkers for Equal Rights. Proposal 1 is about protecting abortion permanently and preventing government discrimination, full stop, and they know it. In their desperation to make this amendment about anything else, the coalition to protect kids is doing anything but right so why do people want to protest against it then why are we going to see high school students protest against this yeah seems like somebody's lying there but we also have Riley Gaines who has obviously responded to this article she says this is the way don't participate in the farce short and sweet and she's completely correct people shouldn't girls women shouldn't have to participate in this it is wrong it has gone on for far far too long. We shouldn't be living in a time where left is right, up is down, and common sense is hard to find. We should be living in a time where left is left, right is right, and common sense is everywhere, right? Then I wouldn't have to say it constantly in my videos. That would be great, wouldn't it? What are your thoughts on the NY high school students who will participate in a statewide walkout against trans athletes competing in girl sports? I'd like to know. If you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. I know this was a very quick one today, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention because I think it is a great story and I would love to see, I think everybody would love to see these high school students in their huge numbers protest against this. That would send a very big message. But it has been your host, JD. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.